What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, I got a great video for all of you. And guys, if you're watching this, drop 10k in the comments, sub and like the video, and you have a chance of winning 10k if I hit 40 likes on the video. He's done it before, gave away 10k to a couple kids. But guys, today, as you can see, my level is up a lot. It went up like probably 15 levels today. I was, I was streaming a lot today. You can go check out my stream. I went off. I won every single game. I'm now 14-3. My three losses were complete BS, literally. One of them was a lag out, and two of them just blew it in the ninth, both of them. But this is my team. And guys, let me get into the uh, let me get into what I'm gonna tell you. It's the fastest way to get XP. And literally, it's so simple. You literally all you have to do is go to uh I'm not here. Yeah, yeah. Collections, go to live series, and you literally just complete all these. You do Tw collect 20 cards, okay? I didn't even do the Blue Jays yet. I'm gonna do it right now. I collected like everything. You collect 20 cards and you get so much XP. This is how I leveled up a lot, okay? I just got more XP right there. I just leveled up to 41, okay? This is what you wanna do. I did most of these collections. I did 10 to 20. And guys, what you do is you just buy the commons. You just simply buy the commons for cheap. Look how cheap they are. 41 stubs. I'm gonna do this one collection too. I'm gonna get 20 cards for all of you. This is the fastest way to level up. I'm telling you right now. I leveled up. I was 25 today. And now I'm 41. I'll probably be 45 by the end of the day. I finally got to grind on Sunday. I had worked the whole week. But yes, this is the fastest way. Some people were asking me how to level up quick. This is the way. This is the way. This and conquest is the fastest ways to level up. Definitely. The, the fastest ways and guys I'll show you all the collections I did in a second after I complete this one you could you could put sell downs for six stubs that's also good but like I don't want to wait I'm just gonna do it for the video and buy it quick and guys also oh that's expensive also you guys can make mad stubs off freaking what's it called Yanny Diaz up whoa 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 whoa, whoa. that's a price gap you guys can make mad stubs off just literally common cards and stuff like that i'm just gonna buy this uh let's keep going I'm trying to think what was i gonna say i don't even know but yeah that's what i'm gonna do it's all you have to do and then after this you could exchange all these players because they have no sell you can go do exchange sets and they're still in your collection so that's also a dope way to make stubs i'm just gonna buy it i don't care the price gap i don't want to wait i want to do it for the video so guys, I got one more. Let's see, how much is he? 188, whatever. Okay, so I did that. 20 rays collected. And as the year goes on, maybe I can start finishing these sets as I get more stubs as the year goes on. And when you when you complete sets, maybe you can do like the AL Central, the AL, the NL, whatever. And then you can make a lot of stubs off that. Oh my God, where is the car I just bought? Did I not like? I'm so dumb. Okay, I guess I'll just buy a show. Okay, so right there, it took me like 900, like 900 stubs to do this, and boom, just got another. I'm about to level up again, and guys, look, I did all these, 10 to 20. I had 10 Blue Jays. I still could do more. I could do 20. I did every single one. This is literally the best way to get stubs. Oh, the Yankees, too. I didn't do the Yankees yet because they're a little expensive. I did the Tigers, did the Indians, the Red Sox. This is the fastest way, and guys... Conquest. I actually have to start playing Conquest. I didn't even. I started it and I got destroyed. But I figured out another way to beat that. You just gotta go here and yo. Supposedly, all you you want to do, what you want to do in Conquest is you just want to keep going like this. You just want to take as many spaces as you can. That's what you want to do supposedly, and then start attacking it when you get as much spaces as you can. So that's the quickest way. You want to attack. The Rockies and Twins first, and then work your way towards. You'll have mad, mad fans if you just keep getting these spaces, and you keep playing the games and level up and all that good stuff. But you get packs, you get Ty Cobb. Awesome way to level up. Believe me, this is the best way to level up. I'm gonna just keep going through these sets. Hold up. Live series. All right, let's keep going. These sets literally don't cost much. Let's say you could drop like 2K, and you get most of it back. So you'll drop like 1K on each set for 10, 20 cards. And realistically, just by playing the game, you get most of these commons and bronze cards. Oh, yeah. And guys, 
If you guys have duplicates, like right here, I have duplicate guy right here. He's 70 stubs. Go sell your duplicates. You can make a bunch of stubs this way. This is what I'm gonna do. This is literally lit. You can make so many stubs off just selling these trash duplicates. Believe me, it adds up. And OG Sour Dude told me this. I don't even realize how many duplicates duplicates I have. You guys probably all have duplicates because I had a bunch and I don't even pop packs. I just pop my pre-order packs and like one extra bundle. That's all I did. And I'm just keep le I just keep leveling it up. If you, it's lit, I'm telling you. This is the best way to level up, believe me. And let's go. Like, see, look, I have 10 fillies. I could just cop these commons. They're freaking 40, 40 stubs. Let's say I get 10 commons for 40 stubs. 400 stubs, you get it all back when you uh, do, what, 20 cards? So you literally get your stubs back, and you get XP, and you, like, complete most of the collection. So this is literally a no-brainer. That's literally, it's just the best way. It's a no-freaking-brainer, guys. So, yes, this is the fastest way to level up. And also, I'm going to go over Team Affinity as well, because I just learned some new stuff. And supposedly, you could get the Team Diamond Affinities for very cheap. So, let's say, okay, ready? You go, and you have a bunch of no-sell players, right? I have a bunch of no-sell players. So, you could literally go here for like 20, I heard 15 to 20k stubs. You could get this Jose Reyes right here. Why can't I click on this? What is going on? What? Yes, but you wanna... Why isn't it working? What the hell? Hold up, I'm sorry. It's not working for some reason. But, hold up. Let's see, Mets. Oh, there it is, okay. So I have 15,000 done. All I did was give, give in a bunch of bronze cards. Supposedly you want to do the 74 cards, okay? The 74 overalls are the best way to do this. So I exchanged a couple Vince Velasquez's uh, Germans and this guy right here. So what you want to do is put a bunch of Sal Nows on this to get the Team Affinity Diamond. You want to just, you don't even have to play, you can play some of the innings. All right, you know what, whatever. Let's just say you just play a couple innings. I think you have to get like 10 from doing innings. You have to do, you have to get do this 10 times from doing innings. And then you could just do this with like 15 to 20 K stubs, which isn't a lot. You'll get diamond Jose Reyes and it goes for all the team affinities. Let's see. Let's just look at all of them. Oh, Miggy diamond. That's a very good one to do right here. A Miggy diamond, a Miguel Cabrera. Let's see. What's his stats? Whoa. Oh, his power's trash. That's not a good one. So honestly, my favorites are the Mets. Oh, I'm trying to think. I had there was a bunch of other ones that were good. The Rays are not bad. Ben Zobris, a switch hitting second baseman, good contact, good power, all around beast, decent speed, awesome fielding. That's a really good one to do too. Um, let's see. The Astros, Finley, Dallas Keuchel. If you need a starter, all the team affinities they're pretty good. Honestly, I'm probably gonna do the Mets. I want that. Jose, we got Edwin Arcanacion at 50. Level 50, that's not even bad. Wow. So yeah, you guys see what I'm saying? It's not even that hard. It really isn't that hard. You need like 15 to 20K stubs. Put a bunch of buy orders on the bronze. That's really it. Uh, let's see. Chase Headley. Chase Headley's good too. All around pretty good hitter. Speed's decent. Fielding's amazing. He's a beast too. And then you get, who really cares? You really just want to get up to the diamond. Who cares about this? Oh, six packs at 75. That's not bad either. But who really cares about this? It doesn't really matter. You just really want to go for the diamond. So just, yeah, buy a bunch of bronze cards. It'll work out. I'm telling you. 92 for the Giants. That's crazy. A 92 overall pitcher just by spending like 15 to 20K. And you probably have a lot of the cards already. A bunch of the no-sell cards are good for it. So this all links up together. If you do the collections with the no sell cards, just go over to Team Affinity and get some Team Affinity players. It's not going to cost you a lot of stubs because you did most of the collections. It's not that expensive. I know what I'm talking about. Believe me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the quickest way to level up. And guys, if you're watching this, please just drop a sub, like the video, drop 10K, whatever. I'm grinding every day for you. Got work every day. And guys, stay tuned for some more streams. Probably Friday, I would say. I streamed for four hours today. And guys, that's all I got for you. Peace out! Hey, yo,